But the reason why I wear shirts that are too small for me, people are always often wondering, why are you wearing that shirt? It's like so tiny, like it's a tiny shirt, doesn't fit you clearly as well as it should. Why are you wearing that shirt? It's because I'm trying to get back to the weight that I was when those shirts fit me comfortably and I was I wasn't it didn't look too tight. So I know people are like people say anything on social media nowadays, like you could be doing a charity benefit to have all the people that say negative things and they would they would still have something to say even if you gave to like fifty thousand people that gave negative comments, one person would come up with a, a negative comment after that, right? So you know social media is just the way that it is. If you're not getting negative comments I'd be very surprised because even the biggest stars get negative comments, even the people that are doing really badly get negative comments, everybody gets negative comments, right? If you're somebody that that knows your worth and knows that the negative comments usually come from, usually the negative comments come from people that weren't doing well, so they got negative comments given to them and they just gave up and made their accounts private or set, and then started saying negative things to other people, right? So they, they basically gave up because they were getting negative comments. So they started saying negative things about somebody else because that was what happened to them. And they basically, it's, it's what, people, what people perceive as what's happened to them. So they gave up because they feel like people gave them negative comments. So instead of saying, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do some other strategy or I'm going to really work on this or see what I can do. Instead of being like that, they say, well, maybe if I say something negative to Susie or this person or that person or Marco or whatever, then I'm going to get them to stop doing their channel because that's what I did. I stopped doing my channel, made my videos private because somebody made a negative comment about me. So I'm going to try to do it with Marco or Susie or whatever and see if that affects them to the point where they give up their channel. And then they can be just like me and do the negative thing to other people, right? That's the whole thing about negative comments, right? And this happens unfairly to the people that are not doing well, right? Because if somebody's doing well and doing well enough, they're not going to focus on, well, I'm going to be negative to Susie or Marco or whatever. They're going to be positive because they know they're doing well, right? But in general, it's something that people have to go through on social media from people that might see them as a threat or see them as being too good looking or see them as being someone that has talent or, or maybe they, they want to be them or whatever, right? So it's something that sucks, unfortunately, but it shouldn't be something that sways you to do anything un 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 unheard of or unreal, right? So no one should unalive themselves or anything like that. No one should feel bad. Like, just imagine who it is that's saying it, right? What I usually do to make me feel better is I look at the profile, right? I try to look at the profile to see who it is. And remember, guys, even if it's like a big star saying it or somebody really important saying it, it, it takes, you, you just got to wonder what's in their mind. Maybe they're not well, maybe they're not mentally well, right? Because if somebody's really important and they're saying something negative about you, then they're really not that important in my opinion, right? Because they don't need to say anything negative about anyone. They're doing well on their own, right? So something must be wrong. It might not be their fault, but something must be wrong, right? Anyway, thank you so much. All right, bye guys.